On the fifth Sunday of Lent, um, we begin what's called Passion Tide, where we begin to focus more on the passion of Christ. And up until that point, you could say in Lent, we were focusing on conversion and our own weakness and sinfulness. But in Passion Tide, um, the church has us veil the images that depict Christ and the saints, um, which, is, which is kind of strange and counterintuitive, actually, because if we're focusing on Christ in Passion Tide, in his passion, the question might arise, why are we veiling images of the passion crosses? Well, you have to think like an ancient Christian. The ancient Christian saw the crucifixion, the passion of the Lord, following St. John's Gospel as his glory, his glorification, the moment when he uh, offered his life for sinners, he redeemed us in obedience to the Father, and we actually have a, um, uh, an indication of this on our own crucifix in the church. The heading of the crucifix says Rex Gloriae, which means the King of Glory. So there you have Christ as the King seated on his throne in glory on the cross. But starting in the Middle Ages, around the 12th century, um, there was more of a move to consider the, the, the emotional, the passion, the physical suffering and agony of the Lord. That's the more modern sense, but the more ancient sense of seeing the crucifixion as the moment of glory, well then we can understand why getting closer to considering the passion of the Lord, we veil the images that depict his glory. So we have gems on the cross and we have in our apsidal the crux gemata, which is, doesn't even have a, a corpus on it, but it has gems, it has gold, it has um, uh, even the inscription of Christ, the conqueror. Um, and so we, we veil the images that have gold gems and our Lord being manifesting himself in his glory um, to depict that austerity that uh, we need in Lent, that especially coming up to Holy Week. So there are, um, there are multiple ways to see the veiling of images during Lent. Um, on the one hand, we're covering up Christ in his glorious moment, um, but on the other hand, we are, as Christ says in the Gospels, um, when the bridegroom is taken away from them, then they will fast. And in a way you could say that covering the images are our eyes being able to see Christ um, during this time of, of mourning, the, during the departure of the bridegroom, we're practicing a fasting of the eyes, um, abstaining from looking upon Christ, and we, we experience the loss, the absence of, of, of him. Um, he's, he also, in his passion, he's at one and the same time um, hiding his own divinity, his power, his, his majesty, um, in, in dying in his humanity. But at the same time, he's manifesting something of his divinity at the same time. Um, he's, uh, it, it's, that's what makes it a mystery, a divine mystery. Um, so when we, we shroud the Lord in his cross, in his passion, with the purple, it's the, it's the color of mourning. And we don't uh, remove those until, um, until Easter. However, in our order, in the Norbertine order, the, the processional crucifix is unveiled on Palm Sunday. So we have a glimpse of the Lord in glory upon the cross during, those, um, during that liturgical uh, ceremony.